hello ladies and gentlemen so in today's video we have a program a problem program right that says write a program that produce the alarm sequence of any given number e.g alarm sequence for seven is 22 11 34 17 25 and the list goes on up to one so first of all in our program we will be using this program called uh dfc plus plus to write this program down so this program consists of what we call okay a, 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 a for loop parts and an if statement if else statement parts so what the program does is that as you notice let's go back to the to this part let me look for a pen here so Okay, let's test this out. Okay, so there is seven, right? This is our starting point. So after seven, there is twenty-two. Okay, sorry, I'm using a mouse here. Twenty-two. What's happening between these these figures between these three numbers? <coughs> there is seven, twenty-two, and eleven. So seven into twenty-two it goes into twenty-two three times. But then, as you can see, there is, an, there is a remainder of 1, which means there is an addition of 1. So what have happened here is that 7 times 3, right? It is equals to, to 21. Uh -huh. And adding to, on 21, there is 1. So we are done with this part. This part. Okay. Now we are looking at 11. What's happening at 11? 11 seems to be a, um, a half, half of the number 22, which, is me, which means 11 here was divided by, by 2, giving us 11. So that's 11 divided by 2. Okay, tw sorry, I mean 22. Okay, I hope you guys understand. 22 divided by 2, giving us 11. So after 11, what's going on here? So let's see. 11, then there's 34. Let's check how many times that 11 gets into 34. Well, 11 can only get into 33. That means three times again. Just the same as this part of the, uh, the sequence, the equation. So that means uh, there, is, there is our figure 11, right? Then there is the multiplication of 11 times 3 then there is an addition of 1 which gives us uh, the 34 part so as you can see <coughs> our program will be like this the program we have this certain part where where okay okay let's go <coughs> our program we have this these two parts the part where it checks whether the number is okay is either even or or odd number so let's go to our uh, dev c++ compiler which is uh, the ide <laughs> okay idea okay so first of all we start by including mind the c++ is can sensitive include io stream io stream using name space std then we, now we are, brought, we are starting our main function okay so we open this and write the return zero okay that this is our program skeletal so first of all we are going to ask a certain number uh, we are going to ask the user for a number yeah to to enter a number on the screen so before that, we have to initialize some variables here. So we are going to be dealing with int with uh, our variable n in our program. So let's write. So int n. Let's just put a s on the side. Yeah. Okay. Now, the program is going to prompt the user to enter. It's going to display this. This. This sentence. Enter any 
number to his screen then after right after prompting this message it is going to give a space the way the user is going to end a fig so the user is going to enter n which is our number here the number entered okay the number which is going okay my going to be used in the sequence yeah this one is a common putting those two less than signs or slashes gives us a common so that this part of the program won't be run it will be realized as just a, a comment so now that it have displayed this message to the screen so first of all we have to save our program we make sure we save it by clicking f11 depending on whether you are on a windows operating system or by clicking this icon compile and run so it's going to okay what are we going to do so we're going to write uh, I'll, okay let's say sequence sequence alarm program ulam program okay we have just saved we're just testing out, out whether the program is working so depending with your machine and the ram mine is a bit slow yours may be a bit faster on the processing so as we go on with these tutorials with these video lectures i will be pausing when the the, the machine becomes slow so just like now i might pause and resume later but just for the first time let's just see so the program asks us to enter any number to this screen so we're going to enter our number seven then there's nothing is you will just enter there's no process because we haven't written any code yet so let's go back to our program so the main part of the of this lecture is this part so as we said we are going to deal with two parts or okay let me begin so we're going to print something to the screen a certain word so that our program looks more nice so slash n meaning next line so that we skip this line so next line we will write something like below is okay is the okay uh sequence of what of this number which number n then the program is going to go on the next line and print what we are going to write here so our program we have to read we have to our program here we have to to do to repeat the state the the the, the, the process over and over until it reaches uh, the final part number which is one so we're going to use a, a for loop statement so we we'll first write for then we we'll leave this the place blank then we will write n should be greater than one meaning when the program reaches one it will cancel it will stop then we we'll leave it as blank so on the other part we're going to open our braces after opening our braces we are going to type our first statement so at this part we are going to check if the number entered by the user or the number which is processed by the program is an even number or an odd number so by checking an even number we're going to say n okay okay let's see so an even number is is, is a number which is divide which is div divided by by two and leaving no remainder so we are not going to use the slash parts it was my error typing on the on the keyboard we're going to use this percentage sign and we're going to say if double equal sign which is means is equal to is there is no the zero is the remainder so after that i'm going to open another certain braces or bracket it is braces curly braces yeah so after this if the program checks 
um, whether the number entered by the user is an even number or a, is an even number. It's going to uh, do a, this certain process. It's going to say n. It's going to divide n by 2, as we have said in our presentation here. So, when the program reaches an even number, it's going to, to divide it by by what by two so let's go back okay sorry let's then after that we're going to use it we're going to print out something to the screen we're going to print n then okay leave a space then go but if this if the program okay if the number uh, entered by the user or in the program is not an even number if we are going to process this part let if it is an odd number so let me place this part if the number is is okay is an odd number that means it is it leaves a remainder when it is divided by two. So we're going to say if n okay no there's no if that means we're going to put this part of our our this part in our in our program which will be n times three plus one okay. So that's n times times three plus or plus one. So most of the times I like putting this this so that it it will look much more clean. Okay, plus one. Then it's going to print out the same piece of code. Okay, let's see how our program runs by clicking F11 so first of all the program is going to check whether there are errors in our program so let's just wait and see still loading so enter any number to the screen so is our our question asks us to end to use seven as an example we're going to enter seven then, as you can see, it's going to print 22, 11, 34, 17, 52, and the list goes on up to 1. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video lecture. So, see you in the next lectures in programming using C++ or programming in C++. So, I hope this video was useful to you as as I invested a lot of time to figure things out for you guys to learn so thank you for watching see you in the next